All right, man. Uh, Arthur Better BF just straight obliterated um, Joe Smith Jr. You know, a lot of people in boxing. You know, the, the good thing, the, well, the one thing boxing got going for him because of lack of consistency and lack of activity is that, you know, um, upsets. You know, since you don't get the big fights, a lot of people uh, want to see the upsets, right? That's what supplements the big fights. That's what give you know, people the hits, the articles, the hits, the vloggers, the hits. It's simply um, the upsets now because you don't really get those big time fights like you used to get on on a consistent basis. So, um, so that's what people want to see is the uh, they want to see the upsets because that's what brings the most uh, pageantry to boxing. That's what brings the most attention to boxing. A lot of people saying, "Well, was talking themselves into reasons to bet on Arthur Better BF. I mean, on uh, Joe Smith Jr. But his levels to this, you know, he might have went the distance with Joe Smith Jr. Some people might say his resume better. I mean, might want to this is with uh Dimitri Bivol's resume better. It's no, it's nobody, uh it's nobody in boxing, uh, you know, that's that's hotter than better BF when he active. It's nobody beating their opponents in that type of fashion. You know, and Crawford got more of the uh one punch knockout type of shot. Better BF kind of got that. He can punch one punch, but he got kind of that that bruising and battering type of type of punch man and um like i said before you know it ain't too many boxers better than him i, I really think he's the second best boxer in the world if not you could you know if he fight people you can make a case and say he better you know he right there with terrence crawford even right now you know because everybody's talking about how strong he is and you know in this fight but he showed you lateral movement and he he's he's deceptively fast you know he's deceptive deceptively fast so everybody talking about um you know uh the strength but it's the counter punching ability it's the ability to fight with rhythm it's the footwork it's the 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 he punched with joe smith you know joe smith tried to come out hot it's the technique that he came out with so you know it's the technique you know what i'm saying you know so you know that's something you look at how he hold his hands keep his hands up his chin up the punch variety the uppercuts the looping around the guard so I mean, yeah, you've seen it all tonight on display. Nobody going to talk about his footwork on the back foot or how he cut the ring off. He can go front, back. He can fight you in the pocket. He can, you know, break you down on the inside. He can, you know, on the outside, he find a way to get in. So, you know, tonight, Joseph Jr. tried to come out there, and he tried to set the tone. You know, he tried to come out there. Probably should have. He had reach advantage by, what, a few inches? He tried to walk to him with the region. He tried to batter him. He tried to hit him everywhere. He tried to break his guard down. But it's the poise of Arthur Better BF that actually makes him a great fighter. It's the poise. And Better BF weathered the storm. And Joe Smith Jr. couldn't keep that up. You know, he was just looking to go out there and knock him out. And they knew they was up against. They was looking to knock him out. And that's what they wanted to do. So he couldn't he couldn't keep that keep that activity up. It ain't, it ain't just about how strong better BF is. It's just the total package. It's poise, it's patience, it's counterpunching, his footwork, his hand speed, it's how fluid his hands move. You know, it just ain't the strength. It's the jab. You know, it's the punch placement, the variety, the uppercuts, the right hands, the left hooks, the right hooks, the whole thing. It's not one punch neither. You know, he's not really looking to set up one big punch. You know, I see a lot of big punchers trying to look to set up you know, one big shot, even if he hit you with one or two shots, you know, it's, it's to set something else up. And that's what he did. You know, he's not only just looking for one shot, if he's setting the shots up. And, you know, so funny, if Deontay Wilder can set the shots up like better BF set, set him up. He won't, he wouldn't, he would never lose. Throughout history, he might, he might be, you know, whatever all the attributes he got, he might go down as the greatest fighter of all time. But then again, you know, you know, that is what it is. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you know, people just talk about the strength, but they don't look at the skill set. They don't look at the punching and combinations. They don't look around punching with them. They don't look at the technique, the way he holds his hands, the way he moves his legs. His legs was moving good tonight. That's that's what really gave Joe Smith Jr. the problems. Was the was the was the movement? Not only can he he can walk you down, but he can box on the back foot. Just imagine if he was active and they marketed him. You know, as a true killer with the blood on his face from his last fight with Marcus Brown, but 
Like I said before, he he he's 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 the complete package. You know, Virgil Ortiz, some will, you know, he don't have any defense. I mean, I couldn't tell that tonight. And like I said before, people just naturally don't like him. And that'd be crazy to me, man. There'd be some really good fighters out there, man, that 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 people just don't like. You know, it could be dope skin color, it could be where they're from or whatever, but people just naturally just go against the grain. I'm seeing people say, Oh, Joe Smith Jr. won tonight. Like, what's not to like about better BF? He everything you want in the fighter. You like skill, you like power, you like strength, you like excitement. You don't have a dull moment in a fight with him. You like body punching, you like single shot knockouts, you like, you know, uh, um, volume knockouts. What, you know, you like footwork. What, I mean, I don't like really get like what people don't really like about the guy. You like savagery at his finest, bro. You know, he don't have a boring fight on his resume that I've seen yet. It, it ain't there. It ain't there. He, you know, he is savage. He is a savage, bro. You know, the only thing that's really going to catch, that's the only thing going to beat him is father time. That's it. And, you know, he was robbed of, of his big fight with Kovalev, kind of falling off a cliff um, so hard. He was robbed of his, uh, his big moment. You know. With COVID, him and Kovalev was supposed to be a big, big fight. So, I mean, Joe Smith did what he supposed to do, but can you sustain it? You know, can you build on it? You know, one thing, when you fight top-level guys, you know, nine times out of ten, you're going to have to make – have to either step it up, maintain it, step it up, step it up, or you're going to have to make an adjustment. It wasn't an adjustment to be made. For him, he tried to go to the body, he tried to go to the head, he tried to press him, he tried to catch him, and what he found out was, you know, well, you know, uh, according to, you know, Virgil Ortiz, he don't have no defense. But that wasn't true. And like I said before, people just naturally say, well, he's basic, he's this, but he's fundamentally sound. That's what you need. Fundament Wilder had the fundamentals that he had, bro. This kid had, man, it was nothing to be stopping him. You don't have to be slick when you got technique. His legs is good. You've seen his, you've seen his legs tonight. you see seen him go on the back foot. you see seen him go in and out. It's, it's going to take a slick fighter or a father time to beat him. That's what it's going to take, a slick fighter or father time to beat him. You know, and even a slick fighter, they're going to have to, you know, you're going to have to take, you got to really take away your shots. And, you know, he punching with you, he throwing short, he turning over his shots, you know, he finding angles, he, you know. So, like I said before, man, you know, one boxing's, you know, you know, if you was to say, well, give me a fighter to market, you know, just in the ring, it's him. It's him. You don't get too much more exciting than him and New York and Terrence Crawford. But like I said before, you know, Joe Smith Jr. didn't have a chance and people were trying to talk themselves into doing so because they don't like better be at. But whoever better be at go against, they always rooting for the other person. And that's crazy to me, man. He is a very, very exciting fighter. He's a very skillful fighter. He's fundamentally sound. I mean, you know, what else you want? What else you want in the fighter? Nothing else. You know, hand speed. I and mean, the people get in the ring with him, speed underrated. You know, people get in the ring with him, you know, you know, you don't know how hard he hits, you get in the ring with him. You know, punch variety, looping around the guard, throwing the right hook, then left hook, throwing a jab, throwing a straight right down the middle, throwing the right hand to the body, hooks to the body. I mean, come on. Come on. He demoralized him in that fight. He demoralized him. You got to remember, he went 12 with Bebo. Back in the day, he went 12 with Bebo. And, you know, that's the next fight to make. You know, Bob Aram said, you know, he ain't interested in making a fight and all that type of stuff, man. Just do your fiduciary duty after better BF defense against um, Anthony Yard, who will be next. I'll talk about that tomorrow, which I already talked about it. Um now your defense against Anthony Yard, that's what you look at. Do your fiduciary duty and do what's best for Arthur better be at and go in your pockets. Like I said before, I mean, you know, he showed he showed y'all something different tonight. You know. So Smith jumped on him, you know what I'm saying? And he also mixed it up with him, which, you know, that was the problem. You know what I'm saying? He also mixed it up with him. So Joe Smith and Joe Smith shots was just they wasn't, they wasn't, they wasn't the more technically uh, fundamental shots and better BF was. Clipped him on top of the head. He, he came like, there's levels to this. 
better be able to establish yourself as an A-level fighter. He established himself the Crim de la Criminal Division. That's what he's established himself as. You know, he's the he's the top guy. You know, three belts, one belt, two belts, no belts. He's the guy. You know, like I said before, if people say, well, you know, people, you know, can get him. Well, you put your hope in people if you want to. He gonna have to buy. He gonna have to. I mean, he gonna have to box without taking punishment. But a people probably can take a punch. But the thing about it is, <laughs> you know, what he did versus Canelo, that ain't gonna cut it. That ain't gonna cut it. You know, it'd be a good fight. But think about him, man. People say, well, you can I'll box him. You know, you can box. <laughs> Back foot, front foot. I mean, you know, I said before, Canelo wasn't stepping in the ring with him, man. I told y'all that. You know, whatever you want, you can box, you can bang. You know, he knew how to get inside. And today he showed that he could be a fast starter, which that was because of Joe Smith Jr. Joe Smith Jr. could have lasted longer, but he the one that came out there trying to set the pace, trying to set the tone, trying to establish his power. And like I said before, technique by better BF. If he didn't have no technique, Joe Smith probably would still be fighting right now. So it is what it is. Better, better BF with second round uh, KO. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. And subscribe button, it's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance to notifications. We go live, drop a video. Financial, you want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign. Uh, TJ Good 313, memo TJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. All the information is uh, in my link tree and in the description. In my link tree, you can find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash app, Venmo, PayPal. Uh, also got Amazon Audible for the podcast, edition of Spotify, Anchor, at Audible. Amazon, Google Podcast. I'll share that information with you guys when I drop when I drop another do another live stream, drop another podcast. Appreciate you. Take the five reaction playlist. Let me know in the comment section. Peace.